Hi, I'm Oli from Flitz. I'm here today to show you on this Alcoa wheel how we can bring something this bad back to life. Now realistically, nobody's vehicle is going to get that bad because this has not been cleaned for years. You can see the grudge and everything like that, brake dust. But what's happened on this wheel, this was probably used on the inside of a truck. So what we're doing right now, normally a lot of people use acid. What we use instead is a product called Metal Pre-Clean. Metal Pre-Clean is actually a product made of salt. It does exactly what acid does, but it's safe on your skin. It takes off the corrosion. You can see how it works like this already. And as I spray this on, it'll start instantly taking off the heavy corrosion. Just watch it how it runs off like this. Now I will take a brush and I'll agitate it. And this again, it's not magic. You do have to work it, especially when a wheel like this gets this bad. But I want to take the worst case of scenario and you'll see the results when I'm done. This video will probably take around 10 minutes total and you'll see how a wheel even this bad you can restore within probably, I would think, 20 to 25 minutes. Now we do take water now and we rinse it. It's very important to rinse this chemical just like an acid chemical or something, if you don't rinse it, the chemical will keep eating at the metal. Now, right now it's eating off all the heavy corrosion, the soot, brake dust, and there's a little bit here I did miss, as you can see. So I'm gonna turn up the water, and I'm gonna do it one more time. And I'll take the brush and agitate the same way. One thing about this aluminum metal pre-clean, when it does hit with water, it neutralizes it. That's why water is excellent to use to take off the heavy corrosion. And I think we have it down fairly good now. I'll rinse it one more time, then we'll dry it. As you can see, the water takes all the, the crud right off here. Now we'll dry the wheel. I'm just using the microfiber here to dry it. So during the video here, we can give you a good example how, how it will come back to life. Now, one thing about aluminum, it's solid. You can never harm it. Harm it. it can always be brought back to life. Normally if something this were this bad, and of course because this is on the inside of a wheel, you have a lot of pitting, corrosion, you can see all the pit marks in here. That's something it will not take off, but you'll be super impressed when I start polishing. Now we use the Flitz polishing paste. If you notice it says metal, but it also says plastic, fiberglass, and paint restoration. One thing about Flitz, it's always been sold as a metal polish, but the product is used in many different areas and then we're using even in these holes here. And if you notice, I spread it on just with my hands. Now you can use a paintbrush or anything else to apply it. Once you've put it on, you simply use it with a buffing ball. Now the good thing about a buffing ball is, let me pull this water out of here. The buff ball is made of a felt material. It comes from, called viscose felt, comes out of Germany. The shaft is actually built in a buffer just like this. So what I like to show the audience here, how the shaft is built into the tool. This cover is actually made so when you wash the buffer, you can reuse it. This is an example of a buffer that's been washed after use. You can see the black residue left in here. So once you wash these, they'll last at least up to five to six washes, if not more. So you can reuse a product rather than throwing it away like you do in other products. And for those of you who ever used foam before, you'll know exactly what I'm saying. If you ever use a foam pad and it gets any sharp edge, it'll tear up in seconds. Now what I'm doing here, I'm kind of going to go slow speed to kind of smoosh the polish around. Now I'll bring it to a polish. Now this, 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 this drill here does around 1500 to 1800 RPM. The faster you go the drill, the better job it'll actually do. Now you can use anything from a regular corded drill like a cordless drill or a corded drill. Corded drills are actually better just because, of, number one, they won't run out of the power and they give you a little more speed. 
Same thing if you want to use an air tool. It would work the same manner. Now as this buffer is spinning, the fingers are going right between here. And you can see as I'm going very slow, how bright that aluminum pops. So I'm going to go one more time. And you can see a tremendous difference. And this only after one application. See that shine there? When you look real close here at the camera, you'll see the pit marks. That's something that won't come out unless you sand it. But it's amazing, the luster. Now, when you put water on top, water will beat up and protect us between two to three months in salt water and four to five in fresh water. But we do offer a longer protective coating, and it's actually called, I'm gonna wipe it off here, got a little dirty with the water. It's called a ceramic sealant from Flitz. For those who are familiar with ceramics, you can use it on paint, fiberglass. Our ceramic coating is a do-it-yourself type. You simply spray it on, it looks like water. And all you do is take a microfiber and dry it off. This will take two hours to cure. After two hours, this will get super, super hard and you'll get up to a year of protection out of it. But look at that shine. Isn't that phenomenal? Now, if you go on flitz.com, you can get a lot more video like this, company um, prospectus. If you'd like to have any information, you can call us and talk to our help desk. We can also talk to chat. But flitz.com, best place to get it at. And we offer all these different kits available. Thank you for your time.